in this video, you're going to learn when the best time is to send out your email. The first thing I want to tell you is that there really is no best time, but you can follow some general guidelines so then you can get the most out of every email that you send out. There are many sources out there on the internet that show you the best times that you should email. At the end of the day, only you know the best time because you own the list and you communicate with your list. And by testing and tracking, you know when the best time really is. There are many variables in this because I can see, depending on your niche, your industry, you know, because some industries only operate five days a week. You know, most industries like uh, the commercial and industrial sort of industries, they only operate, you know, for five days, Monday to Friday, while others, there's no restriction at all. But one source that I've found is from GetResponse, and there's an infograph. You can see best time to send the emails, all right, infographic. And they've researched based on 21 million messages sent from uh, US accounts. Uh, obviously, GetResponse is an email autoresponder service. Uh, so they can control, they know exactly, they know the exact stats, the click-throughs, opens, everything. So the results they've found is that during the reader's top engagement, the top engagement times are between 8 a.m. and 10 a.m. and 3 p.m. and 4 p.m., which increases the open rates by 6%. All right, I'll provide this link as well so then you can take a look yourself. And on the next paragraph, they address that it really depends you know, on the daily rot routines of the subscribers and their time zone differences. And with, I know with GetResponse, there's a way to, there's a thing called a, the time travel. So then you can send an email based on the person's uh, geographical location. So if you want to send that 10 a.m. for their particular geographical location and time zone, then you can set that in GetResponse. All right. Otherwise, if you send it at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, New York time, then it will send it, you know, at uh, 12 midnight Australian time, you know, something like that. And here's a, another great stat here. Your emails when when you send out within the hour is when you you will get the most opens. So you can see here 23.63% of all email opens occur within the first hour after delivery. And then it reduced, slowly reduces after that. You know, based on my experience, I think that the reason why is because your email slowly gets flooded amongst all the other emails that are sent to your inbox and it doesn't receive as much attention. And their theory is that uh, an email sent between 5 p.m. has a 23.63% ch chance of being open in the first hour after delivery. That's the afternoon, I guess, after work. People are stuck in traffic and... Uh, which is probably a bad idea because you're driving and you don't really want to check your emails. But according to their stats, 5 p.m. really is uh, one of their uh, peak hours as well. At 6 p.m., people are getting ready, <laughs> ordering pizza or ordering, uh, cooking dinner. 7 p.m., if you've got a family, 7 p.m. is bathing the children. 8 p.m., people are checking emails again. And below you can see uh, email results by time of day, which is probably what you're most interested in. So when is the best time to send out? Well, according to GetResponse, between 6 a.m. and 12 noon is the best time. I guess because people wake up and uh, ch check their emails first thing in the morning and they're just getting ready if they go to work, they're probably just settling in and have a little bit of time to kill. So they look through their emails, purchase products, whatever it may be, before they actually get started with their work. And then you've got 12 noon to 6, 12, uh, um, 6 p.m. And then 6 p.m. to midnight, which is um, uh, the second hottest time to send out your emails. Now let's look at the engagement during the day. Top click hours. So if you want the most clicks, send it out between 8 a.m. and 9 a.m. or 3 p.m. and 8 p.m. Now the top open hours, if you want more opens for your emails, 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. and 3 p.m. to 4 p.m. 
the problem I see is that if everyone is going to take advantage of these best times, the then most people will receive the emails during these times and will, they'll just be flooded with all these emails. So that's why, as I said in the beginning of this email, there really is no best time. And what you want to do is actually take advantage of those non-peak hour times because most people aren't receiving those emails, aren't receiving any emails, as much emails, I guess, as during the peak hour times. Message timing by time zones. You can see here different uh, cities, New York, London, uh, Sydney, Moscow. But uh, it says here that 9 a.m. seems like the perfect time to send out a newsletter. But it, sh uh, it should match the local times and be aware of the time zone differences. So 9 a.m. in New York is like 11 p.m. in Sydney, Australia. And as I mentioned before, GetResponse does have a feature called uh, time travel, which can schedule it based on uh, the recipient's local time. And you can read further down here. You've got highlights of the infographic uh, just in point form and key takeaways. So that link will be provided just below this video if you want to learn more of their findings and reports. But I want to show you one thing here. This is a screenshot taken just uh, just five minutes ago there of the stats of the traffic of one of my websites now my website here it's a niche website it's not small it's a big market but people that are looking for this particular uh, information uh, you know it's around business okay it's around a, a hobby business hobby slash business and the darker blue colors indicate the peak time so this is based on the last 30 days you can see sunday monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday on the left side here you can see the time all right now this is based on my local time just take note this is uh, in sydney australia but this personally gives me an indication of when the users are most active on my website so this is traffic it is a different medium so it is a little hard to compare but it gives me a guideline as to when i should send my email because people do subscribe for my newsletter on this uh, niche website so when they are awake or active then that's a good time to send out so you can look for this info yourself by installing google analytics on your website and then checking the stats, you can see this is the page views section. This is on my mobile app. So I just took a screenshot quickly just to show you uh, how, how it works. This is another way to see when is a good time to send out your email. 